Chances are, if you're here, you may at least have one of these. But what is this? It's a Sega Dreamcast. That's right, it's Sega's last video game console, at least back at the end of the late 90s. Like many things in the 90s, when you look back at it, this one included, it's very beige. Beige rage. Ugh. White on the inside, beige on the outside. So this is a problem, in fact, that affects many different white plastics that have aged over time, not just the Dreamcast. This solution may, in fact, fix more than just the Dreamcast problem. So what we're going to do, we're going to make this as cheap and easy and as simple to follow as possible. Here's what you need. Nice clean work surface. What are you going to clean? This case, a Sega Dreamcast. Oh. The six billion players. Fluid crosshead screwdriver set. Paintbrush. Rubber gloves. Resealable freezer bags. So ID, you're looking for medium sized. And the secret sauce Salon Cream Hydrogen Peroxide 40% mix. Costs a bargain of £1.95. I'll show you how where to get it. Right, so average cost of all this is £5.89 UK. And bear in mind, some of these are multi pack stuff. So, more than likely, you already have this. So, how do you get started? Okay, so first of all, you need to take your modem off. Right, so, you need to get inside your Sega Dreamcast. Let's pull this baby to bits. So, standard Phillips screwdriver stuff on the outside. Inside, next to the fan, though, is some okay. smaller Phillips screw head tops. But also, this is a great opportunity to get inside, get this, get this circuit board off, and also clean those connectors. So if your Dreamcast keeps resetting, that will solve that problem at the same time. Okay, so what you want left is your two shells, really your top and your bottom. And then we're going to get inside. Let's apply the solution. So this is what your freezer bags are for, really. As you can see, it perfectly fits the bottom shell and also the top shell. And two of these, of course. And here we are, Lotus Hair Accessories Cream Peroxide. Don't bother too much about the brand, this is an industrial brand, so you won't be able to buy it down your local Asda, but you will be able to buy it held on industrial sites. This is already pre-mixed, 40% volume cream peroxide. Now if those who've ever used RetroVite or attempted to make it, it's a bit of a sticky mess really, using lots of different stuff. This is already mixed into a cream, this is already ready. Now I attempted to buy this actually from my local barber shop and I saw it literally on his side. And I was like, oh that's exactly the stuff I'm after. It literally looks like shampoo. This is the stuff basically for dyeing people's hairs and so on. So this is pre-mixed, it's ready-made, and the industry already provides it to hairdressers and barbers. £1.95, and it's huge. As you can see, it looks a lot like shampoo. I'll give you the links and details below in just a second. So get your paintbrush wet, and uh, prepare to get in your inside your drink cast. Now I literally started slapping this on. This is the first time I've actually opened the drink cast, this particular one anyway. And it's just a case of getting in there, getting it clean. And make sure you're getting every single nook and cranny absolutely soaking wet. Yeah, so what's really happened is over time, this console's have gone yellow, particularly white stuff has gone yellow. It's going to bring me off, you coming to the surface. This isn't by any means a perfect fix. But actually, this is about as near as you're absolutely utterly going to get. And when you see the results in a bit, you are going to be very surprised. So you just want to encase it into your resealable food bag. Do that, of course, with the top, top shell. Give it a good seal. And making sure you don't get any of the stuff on your hands. This stuff is really, really irritable. I got this actually on my fingertips um, when I a little bit later, and it, it took me a little while just to wash it all off. So yeah, make sure you use your rubber gloves. Yeah, get every nook and cranny on your bottom shell as well. This way it gives you a nice even covering. Get in at your fans.
Okay, so these two are literally are really sealed and ready to go. So now what do you need? Well, it's actually quite simple. You need what, unfortunately, in the UK we don't have an abundance of. Sunlight. Yeah, it's a bit of a luxury here in the UK. Uh, it's literally a bit overcast so I took that picture. However, actually it, it did prove to be uh, quite useful. I literally left one on the window in my kitchen for a couple of days. Results time. This is exactly how it turned out. So this is me uh, giving them a good unwrap. It's like Christmas coming all over again. Yeah, of course you get all that sloppiness. They're all that uh, peroxide on this. So make sure you give it a wipe. Yeah, this is actually when my hands got a little bit irritated. Yeah. Shouldn't do this. Yeah, make sure you're using a uh, rubber glove at that point as well. And you can see the difference. This is this is the other one I have. All yellow, bromidey, and it's all a bit beige. Now compare this to the one that's just had the treatment of this. Absolutely perfect. White. This is nice, crisp, and it's original glory. Let's just give it a nice big close up as well. So here from the front, let's look at the difference. The difference is utterly apparent. That literally is right back to a retail mint colour of white. The Sega is really clear. Now you remember the modem? I deliberately didn't wipe the modem. I wanted to see the comparison between the two different colours. And as you can see, that's quite striking. That yellow beige against the uh, the clean white. So my next step really is to do it also not only to my first other Dreamcast, but also to my Sega arcade stick as well.